Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is select the first sphere and we are going to right click, add new material, go to well, when you um, first reach the materials uh, window, you have favorites, maya, metal ray, and octane. Don't use the favorites, maya, metal ray because they do not work. Only work with octane materials. You will, um, it will, the others won't work, and it will be frustrating. So click on octane diffuse. Now, when you click on octane diffuse, this palette comes up. Um, not this palette. This um, panel comes up. Call this sphere one if you want. And here we have the diffuse, transmission, bump, normal, opacity, smooth, emission, and medium. These are all the ones. These are all the buttons that are in the octane uh, render standalone. Um, they are all virtually the same. So let's click on the diffuse and let's change it to a red. And let's check on smoothing and then hit the refresh button and then we want to select the second um, uh, sphere, right click add a new material go to octane materials and click on glossy now since it's a glossy we're going to make sure it's a real glossy so put it to white make sure it's on smoothing put the specular up uh, um, and with the um, third one we're going to right click as a new material go to octane materials go to a um, specular go to the reflection and we're going to put in a green a light green we're going to change the smoothing and the, we're going to put the transmission up along with the dispersion and we can mess around with the film width a little bit uh, next we're going to uh, right click add new material we're going to uh, we go to octane materials and this time we're going to add a, an emission but to add an emission, we have to go to Diffuse. And to add an emission, you go to the Emission uh, tab here, and you can check this checker box. And if, if you check the check the checkered box, it will show up again. You're going to have to go to the Octane Emissions area. So you get rid of all these, and click on Textured Emission, and put the power down down to one, and the Put the power to one. Um, put the dis distribution to about 0 0.2. Power could be a damn bit more. All right, so now we have much all the basic materials. Now we want to go a bit more into the in depth, and we're going to go to the third one. Right click, add a new material. We're going to go to the octane materials and go to Mix Material. Um, from Mix Material, we're going to click the Material 1, click the checkered box, and we're going to go to Octane Materials, and we're going to go to a Specular. We're going to put the reflections to uh, Purple. And we're going to put the dispersion up quite uh, a little bit, not too much. And then we're going to go back, go to the checkered box again, uh, on the second material this time. And then we're going to go to glossy. And we're going to put with the glossy, we're going to pick a orange. and smooth it. We're going to go with the middle with the specular and roughness. Now just for tutorial sake I think I might just turn down the emission for this. Just for tutorial sake. Um, you know you can keep it there if you want. 
and also check on the smoothing. Uh, for the next one, we are going to add a new material. We're going to add a, a diffuse scattering. So go to medium, go to medium, and go to scattering. Um, go back to the texture, press smooth, go to the white and go to yellow, uh, go back, oh wait, go to medium, oh wait, yeah, no, no, no go back, um, go to transmission, go to octane textures, go to RGB spectrum, and then we're going to click on a green, yellow. Um, and for the next we're going to just, let's just pause the render by pausing it and uh, right click, go to add new, we're going to first uh, UV wrap it, so go to polygon, UV wrap, okay it's UV wrapped and we're going to click on it again, add a new material, we're going to go to a, a material uh, diffuse and this time we're going to go um, uh, open an image up which I'll put into this tutorial oh whoops, uh, uh, so click on the file go to octane textures go to an image uh, select smoothing and we're going to refresh the render and then as you can see it's now the texture is now put on and for the bottom we're going to do the same for the floor so click the floor which is uh, being already snapped off from the um, mesh polygon the room polygon uh, right click, add a new material, go to Octane Materials, go to Diffuse, no wait, go to, yeah, go to Diffuse. We're going to call this uh, Floor, and we're going to go down to the Diffuse, going to go to Octane Textures, going to go to Image, Open the video, open the file. And we're going to go hit refresh. And we're going to reset the camera. Just click camera one. And obviously, you have to change the scaling. So put the scaling to 0 0.5. 0.5, oh wait, that makes it even more bigger, um, sorry, change that, image texture, and change that to 5, 5, yeah, that's better, okay, so now that we have our textures, we have a camera, we have our atmosphere, um, it's now to just to dive into the uh, the rendering kernel settings for it. I don't know what the rendering kernel settings. The um, the uh, expo the film exposure and stuff. Um, and stuff. So we're gonna click out of here. I'm gonna pause the rendering. Click on the camera. I'm gonna go to camera. Oh wait, no, I'm gonna go to camera aim. Whoops. Get, get rid of the film attributes, film back, and the Maya, go to the film Alctane Imager, and let's just change the, whoops, change, let's go down to Film Imager, change the exposure, and as you can see it's all real time, uh, let's go to 20, Uh, 15 uh, let's go to 2 
and we can change, put the vision netting all the way up, saturation a bit more up, or not too much. Hot pixel removal up. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, all we have to do is now go back to the. Let's just save our work just in case. Now we're going to go to the rendering. Let's just exit out of that for a sec. Go to the rendering settings. Go to the common. Uh, let's check on yeah, kind of management. So let's change this to a 1K. Go to render, and as you can see, oh whoops, um, go to your settings, go to uh, 1K, alright, go to renderable cameras and go to camera 1 and Alpha channel camera one. Okay, and we're going to go to our settings. Go to the samplings and max is eight. Let's put that to about five hundred, a uh, thousand. We'll see. We'll see which number it will go to. Um, and click on render. And when you click on render, just go to IPR and click on camera one and as you can see it is munching through uh, the and all of the information is down there it's going it, so far it's 14 seconds in, it will take about one minute it's going at 9 megabits per second um, the memory is only taking 28 megs and the uh, samples is flying through and this is at 1k so this is pretty much the introduction for the Maya. As you can see, it is fully interactive. Um, the um, plugin is going to have um, various and numerous amounts of updates. So if there's any bugs you see, um, please report them to Jimstar, as he is very quick with development. So I hope you liked this video, and um, I'll see you next time in uh, more specialized areas for for this tutorial. See ya.